Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. Normally I would just be like, I need some sleep, but I stopped working that second job. So now I have all this extra energy to dispense out there, you know what I mean? Um, so let's talk about a lot of things here, you know, like... I know you guys can tell by the title of this video that we about to hit on some things tonight that is just going to give Satan and the narcissist a punch to the gut and a black eye. So let's just start off by saying this. Narcissists. Yes, they have. Yes, they do. Yes, they will. Yes, they have. Yes, they do. Yes, they will. If you guys hear like a machine in the background, it's my washing machine. Um, I decided to do some laundry early this morning. Um, but yeah, yes, they have. Yes, they do. Yes, they will. Narcissists participate in witchcraft. Narcissists, they lie, steal, kill, they cheat. Narcissists only cares about self. And they really don't even care about their selves in the in, in a way a person is supposed to. But they only care about themselves as far as getting energy source and energy supply from their victims. So if it's food. If it's sex, if it's money, if it's clothes, if it's grooming, if it's a, a roof over their head, if it's somebody to talk to because they ain't got nobody else to talk to because they're uh, an empty, shallow shell of themselves and nobody wants to deal with them or have anything to do with them anyway, so they try to find someone to fill that empty void, you know. So if it's to have somebody to talk to, if it's a friend, because they don't have any friends. Um, if it's, you know, a therapist, somebody who can just sit around and listen to their stories and their problems, and they put the pressure on this person to, to be their therapist, you know, to be therapeutic for them. Whether if it be to just gain knowledge from you because you're such a smart person and they're just not. So whatever it is that they are here for, it's not for your love. It's not, it's not for them to love you back. It's to solely get from you and take from you. Like I said, they do witchcraft, they lie, steal, kill, they cheat. They manipulate. And did I say already that they take? Yeah, they take. You know? And they don't, not only do they just take, but they wipe you out. Suck you dry and wipe you clean, like I said in my previous video. And some of these narcs are warlocks. Some of these narcs are witches. Yes, they have. Yes, they do. Yes, they will. And when I say witches and warlocks, oh, they be putting people under all kinds of spells and, and they be doing all sorts of evil and they be, and this is how they put you under spells is they put you under an illusion and they make you delusional, okay? And then they take their manipulation and their lies and they put it out there into the universe and they spew it out on your name. They spew it out on you. They be having people confused. They be having you confused. They be confusing themselves. They be creating stories and will put a, a thousand miles per hour of effort into making the, the false story true. Like I said, yes, they have. Yes, they do. Yes, they will. Witchcraft. Witches and warlocks. Yes, I said it. Okay?
they perform voodoo, okay? Yes, they have. Yes, they do. Yes, they will. All right? And if they haven't done any voodoo, and if they haven't participated in something like that, they have the potential to do so. You cannot put nothing past these people. They spread STDs. They they obtain STDs. They contract STDs and then they spread STDs. They do it on purpose. They do it accidentally. They do it carelessly. They do it irresponsibly. They do it on purpose. They do it accidentally. They do it carelessly. They do it viciously. They do it recklessly. They do it on purpose. They do it on accident. They do it all kinds of ways. The fact of the matter is they do it. They spread lies. They tell lies. They drag your name through the mud. They throw you under the bus. One of the things they love to have is control. Control for the narc is like candy and ice cream for kids. They want to control you. They want to control how your life turns out. They want to control your decision making. They want to control your thoughts. They want to control your emotions. They want to control your every move. And the moment that they feel like that control is taken from them or slipping away from them, you become a problem for them. They down for you all up until that control is lost or all up until that control is gone or taken from them. And once that happens, they turn on you. They smile in your face. And then they turn around, they stab you in the back. But while they stabbing you in the back, they're at the same time smiling in your face while they got a knife in your back. Yes, they have. Yes, they do. Yes, they will. They will have sex with you and then turn around and have sex with somebody else an hour later. And then come back and have sex with you again later that night. Yes, they have. Yes, they do. Yes, they will. They will tell you they go into the store or they go into a client's house to perform a job or they go in to go run a quick errand. But while you at home trusting that they really go into the store or to go run a quick errand that, you you know, uh, while you're at home trusting this, they, had, they over at the supplies house, the new supplies house, having sex with him or her, getting money from him or her, telling him or her all kinds of lies about you, saying how evil you are when in fact they are the evil ones. While they come home and be like, oh, baby, I got such and such from the store. They had just got done having sex with the new supply with so-and-so over there down the street. Yes, they have. Yes, they do. And yes, they will. They will be having sex with somebody else right underneath your nose and you don't even know it. They will have the neighbor calling their phone. They will be laying in the bed with you and have the neighbor across the street calling their phone after midnight or at midnight while they laying in the bed with you thinking that you're not going to catch on and thinking that you're the stupid one. Thinking that you ain't got no sense. Thinking that you're not going to catch on thinking that you don't have any clue what the hell is going on. Yeah, I said it. Thinking that you have no clue of what the hell is going on. Yes, they have. Yes, they do. Yes, they will. 
they will make you believe that they will be the best stepmom or best stepdad to your child. And then they will wait a year or two and then they'll change up on you or wait a couple years and change up on you and become this complete, like distance, motionless person toward your child that they made you believe that they was going to do right by. Yes, they have. Yes, they do. Yes, they will. They will have you believing that you are the love of their life. When in fact, all you are is the benefits. All you are is the washing machine. All you are is a pair of shoes that they can slip in and out of. A pair of Crocs. But they will tell you to your face that you are the love of their life. When in fact, all you are is a source of energy, a source of light, a source of supply. When all you are is in fact their survival, not the love of their life. Not what you think they made you believe. They will lie to your face. They will laugh in your face. They will smirk in your face. But in the back of their mind, in their demonic evil mind, they got all kind of secrets, all kind of dirty information, all kinds of demonic activity going on. In the back of that mind, in their pockets, in the closet, in Pandora's box, all kinds of secrets, all kinds of lies, all kinds of foolishness and shenanigans. Yes, they have. Yes, they do. And yes, they will. Everything is all good with you and them as long as they have the control. But the moment the moment that you don't do what they want you to do, you become a problem. The moment that you're not operating what they program, or the moment that you ain't getting what they program, that's the moment you become a problem. Everything is all good until you decide to fight back, until you decide to say, you know what, enough is enough. You're not finna keep controlling me and consuming me and sucking the life source out of me. Everything is all good up until you start catching on. Everything is all good until you wake up to reality, To until you wake up from your deep sleep that they put you in until you snap out of the spell that they put you under. Yep, I said it. The spell that they put you under. Yes, they have. Yes, they do. Yes, they will. Perform witchcraft on you. Spells on you. Have you in a crazed, a delusional mindset? Have you confused? Have you tripping? Have you discombobulated? Have you forgotten who you are? Have you just so twisted up and so distraught that you just don't know where your left from your right is? You don't know whether to go up or down, but you feeling down. They will do these things to you. Yes, they have. Yes, they do. And yes, they will. These jokers are the biggest clowns in life, the biggest liars, the most waste of time, the saddest excuse for a human being, a waste of energy, a waste of space, a waste of time. And they just not worth your time, your energy, your happiness, 
your soul, your spirit, your life. They're not worth it at all. Even if you think they are, they are not. See, you thinking that they are worth it, that's that spell that they put you under. Yes, they have. Yes, they do. Yes, they will. Curse you. Lie on you. Cheat on you. Steal from you. Take from you. Accuse you. Like Satan, their father. See, Satan is the accuser. It talks about it in the Bible. So if Satan is the accuser and they are accusing you all day, every day long, who do you think their father is? Satan himself. I'm telling you, these people are very demonic. These people are very possessed, heavily possessed with demons, spirits. They got that Jezebel spirit, the Leviathan spirit, and all other kind of spirits just floating around in there. These entities, they control them. Just like they try to control you, these entities control them. And I know some of you out there don't believe in this. Some of you are not spiritual. Some of you don't believe in the Bible. Some of you don't believe in God. Some of you out there don't believe in Jesus Christ. Some of you don't believe in the devil. But I'm going to tell y'all something. Anytime you are doing something that is far beyond humanity, far beyond mankind, far beyond the nature of a natural human being, it is demonic. It is the devil. It is demons. Okay? They are riddled with demons. I remember my mother-in-law, she used to tell me a couple times, used to share with me that she could never sleep at night. She would wake up at three, four in the morning, crying, depressed, sad, tripping. And in my mind, I just would be like, life is not that bad. Why can't you not sleep? Why are you always crying? Why are you always sad? What's keeping you up at night? And these are the things that I used to think in my mind. I never asked her that verb you know, directly, but I, I, you know, those were questions that were floating around in my mind. Like, life is really not that bad. What's going on here? But after I didn't did my research and God started showing me some things, I've come to the realization that it's all them demons in her, all those demonic forces wreaking havoc in her mind, in her body and in her soul that's keeping her up at night that got her crying, sad, and depressed, and tripping. These demons, they are making her suffer. They are torturing her. Do you understand? When you work for the devil, you're not happy. You have no happiness. You're not free. You're in bondage. This woman is in bondage. That's why she could never sleep at night. That's why she was always waking up crying and tripping. Because she got demons torturing her day and night. Yes, she has. Yes, she will. And yes, she does. My estranged husband. We were laying in bed one night. And we were sleeping for about a good hour, maybe an hour and 30 minutes. And then he just popped up out of nowhere, out of his sleep, like as if he was never asleep. You know how some people wake up out the bed, you yawn, you stretch. You, you know, you go through your awakening uh, phase, right? Well, this dude, he popped up out of bed. Just like as if you could blink your eye like this. He popped up out of bed. Didn't go through the awakening phase or nothing. No yawning, no stretching, no nothing. He didn't he even like sit in the bed a few seconds. No, he popped up out of bed like, you know, like a puppet, like boom. And he was yelling and cursing and mad and tripping and yelling at me and cursing at me and tripping. Talking about Corey. 
And I'm like, who is Corey? You're jealous of a person and I don't even know who, who this person is. You're jealous of a person. I don't even know what you're talking about. He was like, you go be with Corey then. Have Corey take care of you. Have Corey be in the bed with you. You go try to make a million dollars with Corey. And I was just like, who in the heck is Corey? I'm telling you, these narcissists, these demons be torturing these narcissists so much, they will pop up out of their sleep tripping about some stuff that you have no clue what the hell they talking about. And you just be like, what in the world? And this is how you know they're possessed. If they can pop up out of their sleep like this, tripping on you and y'all was both sleep about a person that you have no clue of what they're talking about. You don't even have no clue what this person is. That is a demonic spirit. That person is possessed. And I know some of y'all out there don't believe this, but yes, they have. Yes, they do. And yes, they will be possessed. They are possessed. They will be possessed. Because they choose not to go get healed. They choose not to go release all of that pain at the altar. They choose not to allow God to do a work in them. God's word says that the wicked, they have no peace. They have no rest. And what I just shared with y'all about him popping up out of his sleep, tripping, and that his mother could never get no sleep at night is evidence of God's word being true. That the wicked, they have no peace and they have no rest. Narcissists will ruin your sleep because they can't get no sleep. Do y'all not understand? They don't want you to get no sleep because they can't sleep. These demons be torturing these people day and night. That's why they get no rest. That's why they get no peace. And this is why he interrupted me after one and a half hours of sleep. Interrupted my sleep because he couldn't sleep. He didn't want me to get a good night's rest because he couldn't get a good, good night's rest. He was jealous that I was sleeping good and that he wasn't. So he had to just ruin my sleep, cuss me out, yell at me, tripping. Yes, they have. Yes, they do. And yes, they will, honey. Usually, they are people with addictions, substance abuse. My husband, estranged husband, is a pothead. He's addicted to weed. He's addicted to porn. He watches porn all the time. And then he tried to take his porn... Uh, activities that he he learned about and he he tried them on me in our bedroom yeah that's what I'm saying sick my mother-in-law she's an alcoholic and she's a chain smoker so a lot of narcissists have addictions a lot of narcissists not all but a lot of them have addictions and a lot of them have um, substance abuse issues yes they have Yes, they do. Yes, they will, honey. They will lie on you, spit on you, drag you. They will make your life a living hell because they have no peace. So they don't want you to have no peace either. Yes, they have. Yes, they do. Yes, they will. They will sit there and gossip about somebody that they swear up and down that they like in their face. But behind their back, they can't stand them. And behind their back, they jealous of them. So they will smile in their face, but behind their back, gossip about them, tell their business. Oh, yes, another thing. Don't tell your business to these narcs. Because they will tell your they will they will tell your business, they will spread your business to people that you don't even know. It's people that don't that you don't even know that know you. Because the narc that sat up and talked about you. Yes, they have, yes they do, yes they will talk about you. Tell your business. Spread your business all through town. 
all through the country. They will turn on you faster than you can blink your eye. Because they jealous that you got something going on that they won't. Whether if it be happiness, whether if it be your bright light, whether if it be your 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 full field spirit, whether if it be a talent, whether if it be you got potential to be somebody, they will hate on you and they will hate on your talents and your potential. Yes, they have. Yes, they do. Yes, they will. They will have you believing that they are on your side, that they are for you, and that they are your person, or they are your people, but will turn on you faster than you can blink your eyes and have you all sideways, have you all confused, have you all puzzled, like what did I do? Like, what is going on here? Mm-hmm. Yes, they have. Yes, they do. Yes, they will. Marry you, thinking, having you thinking that you the one. When really the real reason they married you was to lock you in so that you can keep providing for them whatever it is that they're looking for from you. They did not marry you because they love you. They did not marry you because they want to commit to you. That's all a lie. It's all a facade. It's all an act. They will have babies with you to keep you around forever or to keep you around for a long period of time. Them having babies with you is their way of securing their energy supply and source with you. Not because they really wanted to have babies with you. That was a lie that they told you just to lure you in. Just to get you to thinking that, you know, y'all are this one big happy family. When really they hate you. They can't stand you. And they hate the babies that they had with you too. And won't help you parent them the correct way. They will do everything in their power to try to raise your babies that they had with you. Raise them into demonic babies. Make them demon children. They will make it okay and make up excuses for why their grades are bad, for why they have bad behavior, for why they fighting, for why they're not getting along, for why they don't have great manners, for why they're not being respectful to, to adults, for why they're not respecting you as the other parent. Yeah, they make up excuses all day, every day long. For their unacceptable behavior, for their bad grades, for they for they disrespect, for their unfor you know unforgiveness, for their ungratefulness, for their haughtiness, yeah, all day long these narcs will excuse all of that. But the moment you try to step in as the other parent and correct it, they will turn on you and make you look like you are the devil to your own children. And will make you feel like you a step parent to your own kids. Yes, they have. Yes, they do. Yes, they will. They are the biggest snakes in the field. They are the sneakiest snakes in the field. They are the most scandalous snakes in the field. They will tell you, I love you. And then five minutes later, get on the phone to their family, friends and gossip about you and say how horrible you are and how much they can't stand you and how terrible you are and how you did this wrong and you did that wrong and how you're just such a disgrace to them. But five minutes prior, they just got done telling you that they was they that, that they love you. Yes, they have. Yes, they do. Yes, they will. And all the while, you thinking everything is good. But behind your back, everything is not good. Everything is terrible, horrible. And 
narcs, their people are really their people, not your people. They was never your people. See, that's a lot that they got you to believe in the beginning. That was part of a part of the illusion. That is a part of the spell work, a part of the witchcraft. And like I said, yes, they do. Yes, they have. And yes, they will. Witchcraft, spell work, lie, manipulate, cheat, steal, kill, gaslight you, abuse you, drag you, suck you up, spin you around, slap you up, punch you up, beat you up, throw you in the trash can and won't think twice about it. You know how stray dogs and cats, they look in the trash can for food? A narc will go to that trash can that they threw you in, and they'll go looking for you just to see if there's anything else left that they can suck up out of you. You know how when you drink soda from a can, and there's just a little bit of that soda left, and it's like driplets? The narcs will go right back to that trash can that they threw you in just to check for the driplets. Or you know when a f water faucet is on and then you turn it off and then the water start dripping out the faucet, the narc will go back for those little drips. They will suck you dry and wipe you clean. Yes, they have. Yes, they do. Yes, they will. And they don't care. They only care about feeding their flesh. They only care about soothing their pain. They only care about inflicting pain onto others because they are hurting. They don't have no emotions for you. They don't have no empathy for you. And they don't comprehend it for you. I can go on and on and on about this all day, all night. Let me tell y'all something. Yes, they have. Yes, they do. Yes, they will. So y'all think about everything that I said. I want y'all to have a good rest of y'all's day and peace and blessings to you. And I see y'all in the next video later.